what up people, Von Red one here, and these are going to be my first impressions on Ratchet and Clank for PS4. Got this yesterday, sorry about not having an unboxing, but yesterday was fucking crazy, like I didn't get home until like 6 o'clock. Like everything happened, I took my friends to the store to get the game, and the funny story about that, um, they didn't have that many copies, so all they had were like two open copies. Everybody else had theirs pre-ordered, so he got like the second to last copy they had <laughs> at the GameStop. But anyway, on to the um, first impressions. This game is very good, and I was actually surprised. It's actually so far exceeded my expectations. So I'll start with the visuals. The visuals in this game are amazing. It's not at the Pixar level of quality, but it comes very, very close. Uh, there are certain parts in here where it feels like a movie. Not because of the frame rate, which I wish was 60, but eh, I'll get to that later. But it really does look amazing. The um, visuals, the, like, the, the shadows, the lighting, the textures, the overall image quality, overall anti-aliasing and everything looks really good. And the animations are uh, top-notch to boot. So that pretty much covers the visuals, and this game is running at 1080p native, so it looks beautiful. The frame rate... I'll get into gameplay. It runs at 30 frames and it's pretty solid. I noticed one drop when I was um, flying the ship in um, Kirwan. There was one drop and it was very bad. Other than that, not noticeable. I might have dropped into the 28 and 29, but I didn't notice. So the frame rate is decent for the most part. It dropped when like after a crazy explosion happened, so I can see that. How the game plays, I have to give Insomniac credit. They went back to the original control scheme for Ratchet & Clank. For those of us that play on PS2, we'll feel right at home after we change a few settings. You can shoot with Circle for the first time since the Future series. I'm so glad they brought that back. That's what I didn't like about Into the Nexus and all the games in between Cracking Time and Into the Nexus. That's one thing I didn't like. You had to use R1. So on here you can use Circle and you can also um, switch the controls. If you want to play it exactly like it was, you can use the um, PS4 custom button assignments. However, I set it up to where L1 is to strafe, circle to shoot, or R1. You can choose which one you want to use. And you can also <clears throat> use the um, R2 or R1, however you have it set up, to do the heli launch, um, the heli jump, all of those. And to be honest, that feels smoother on here than it did in any of the other games because you just hit R2 and it does it for you. So that's um, actually a really good um, decision on their part. One thing about the controls, the 30 frames will take a while to get used to because almost all the Ratchet games, except for like the last three, ran at 30 frames. I mean, ran at 60 frames. So the firmware took a while to get used to, but eventually it, it just it sticks. It's solid, the animation is fluid, the controls are very responsive, so it feels good. And with good visuals, the 30 frames doesn't bother me as much. And it's a solid 30, as I said, except for a few occasions. So the visuals are amazing, the gameplay is great. As far as overall feel, this definitely feels more like Into the Nexus than um, the future games or the original games. But it still feels like Ratchet & Clank. Like you'll know what you're getting into, you'll be able to tell you this is definitely Ratchet & Clank on PS4. The story so far started out kind of a kind of like abrupt, like it was an abrupt starting. Like you're playing as um, you start as Ratchet and you just go to Clink with very little stuff in between. It's just like, okay, this is happening, then then this is happening. So, so far the pacing isn't spectacular. I mean, I feel like the future series, um, Cracking Time, we got spoiled when it came to the story. So this isn't quite as good here. But, the movie I think will be better because what they did for this game was focus on the gameplay in every area possible and it sticks out it shows the gameplay is great but you can tell they made a few not changes but a few takeouts or add-ins to the story that didn't quite match the film the way it should possibly match so the story so far is decent overall it's good so far but the beginning was meh and the pacing up until um at least the third planet could have been better the point i'm at now the story is flowing together pretty good though so there's always that um, I thought about the visuals, the gameplay, and the story. The weapons, that's one thing you can't talk about Ratchet & Clank without mentioning. Uh, the weapons are great. The, most of these weapons are taken from older games because I mean, this is like the 11th or 12th game in the series. So, 
they're going to have to have repeat to this point. That you can be the most creative person ever, but when you're 12 games in, you can't come up with everything new. They still have some new things, though. They have this weapon called the Proton um, Photon Drone, which you shoot it out, and it does it's like an area of effect weapon. It um, shoots out a shockwave on the ground, and it continuously hurts enemies. They also have the Pixelizer, which we've seen in the ads. It's, it's a really cool weapon, too. You can, like, I call it the Consoleizer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a cool weapon. And it's really effective, actually. I didn't expect that, because I expected it's going to just be, like, turn them into pixels, and then they can still hit you, and they can, but two hits up close to most enemies will, um, stop them. Like, you get the bolt, so you can just hit them, and it makes the pixel sound after you hit them with your wrench. So, yeah, the weapons are cool. Are there any other weapons? Well, fan favorites are back. Um, they brought back Mr. Zircon. That's one of my favorite weapons in the whole series. Not because of, um... How it works, but just because of the um, personality they gave Mr. Zircon. He brought back the combustor. I'll be honest, I, I I hate the combustor. That's my least favorite um pistol in Ratchet and Clank. My least favorite, like just it's like a uh, it's like Insomniac made their official version of the um what are those guns called in Size Matters? Lacerator. It's like they made their official version of a lacerator, and I, I didn't like that gun either. And the combustor is even worse when it comes to, like, power. So, I don't know. And here it's good. You can level it up. But, like, I don't know. In Tools of Destruction, the gun that gun was so weak that it just made me not like it. That was, like, one of the weakest guns in the game. They brought back the Predator Launcher. Um, and unlike Tools of Destruction, where that was a very weak weapon, in here, it's very powerful. So I'm glad they got back the old weapons and made them um, strong. Because that's what ruined um, that gun in Tools of Destruction. It was weak. I'm talking about the... Um, Predator launcher and the combustor too, but mostly the predator launcher like that was the most useless thing to use like don't use that on challenge mode Unless you're like shooting at the small enemies that can be killed in one wrench So you might as well just him with your wrench and save the ammo. So yeah, the weapons are good Um, The graphics are good. The story is good so far the beginning could have been better So yeah, I just gotta go and also one thing I want to talk about this game was only 40 bucks so even before I pop my review, which I'll have after I beat the game, I think this is a must-own game for PS4 owners because 40 bucks is a steal. And this game, you're not getting gypped. I, I, I'm actually surprised they're selling this for $40 because there is a lot of content in here. I spent like two hours on one planet just trying to complete all the side quests. Well, not trying, I actually did, but still, just completing all the side quests on one planet took me like two hours in total playtime. And that's just one plan. I don't know how many there are, but I've heard people say it's like over 10 or over like 12 different planets. This is worth, this is a $60 quality game and they only want 40. You should definitely um, hop on this because this is a great deal. I haven't even beat the game yet and I'm already thinking, damn, this game could have been 60. But it's only 40, so yeah, definitely check it out, especially if you have a PS4. And those are my first impressions on Ratchet and Clank. I'm loving it so far. I was going to be playing it while I was talking over this video, but I had to concentrate. So, let me know how you feel about the game if you have it. Are you going to pick it up? Let me know all that down below in the comments section. And on that note, I'm out. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to that one nation under PC and PlayStation.